All right, fam, so look, before we get into the video, I need y'all to do me a big, big favor. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications so we can continue to spread the truth all throughout this nation, man. Enough talking. Without further ado, let's get into this crazy, crazy video. Let's get it, let's go. The US presidential debate was touted as being between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris. But many commentators are saying the real debate was Trump v. Harris and the ABC moderators, David Muir and Lindsey Davis. That's a Here fact. are five moments, the bias. Bro, that's a freaking fact. It was a 3v1, bro, and Trump still took the W. That junk is crazy. Bro, I watched the whole junk live, bro. 3v1, literally, fam. And that man still took the dub. Come on now. Moderators, David Muir and Lindsey Davis. Here are five moments, the biased moderators turned on Trump. The debate opened with David Muir asking Kamala Harris if Americans are better off than they were four years ago. But instead of answering the question, Kamala Harris claimed she was raised in a middle-class family and then went on to say she has a plan for Americans, but didn't provide details of that plan. Moderators didn't push back on this non-answer. Vice President Harris, you and President Trump were elected four years ago, and your opponent on the stage here tonight often asks his supporters, are you better off than you were four years ago? When it comes to the economy, do you believe Americans are better off than they were four years ago? So I was raised as a middle class kid. Abortion and reproductive <laughs> rights was also a major talking point in the debate where the moderators showed bias. Lindsay Davis presented a long-winded monologue on abortion designed to present Trump unfavorably instead of simply asking a question. Davis then falsely claimed there is no state it is legal to kill a baby after birth, despite VP pick Tim Waltz's state of Minnesota, Colorado and four other states allowing abortions right up until the moment of birth in the ninth month. Walls also repelled a requirement to provide life-saving care to infants born alive after abortions, according to Charlie Kirk. Trump was then forced to press Harris on her stance on late-term abortions because the moderators refused to push for an answer from the VP. They, you should ask, will she allow abortion in the eighth month, ninth month, seventh month? Come on. Okay, would you do that? Why don't you ask why, her that question? Why don't you answer That's the, the question? Would you commentators on X slammed the vice president and the moderators after this clear bias? Kamala Harris tried to interrupt Trump after he called her out on supporting defund the police, despite this being against the debate rules. The moderators did not stop her. Instead, it was up to Trump to use her own line against herself. 14 or 15 different policies like she was big on defund the police. In Minnesota, she went out. Wait a minute, I'm talking now. If you don't mind, please. Bro, I, when I heard Trump say, I was like, oh, bro, it's over with. <laughs> it's over with. I'm talking now, please. Uh, bro, it was, bro. I was like, yeah, Trump, yeah, he got it, bro. That man got it. I hope, I really hope they show his last, his last statement, bro, how he ended. Come on, bro. The, la the very last thing he said before the debate was over, bro. That right there, he took the dub. He took the dub, for sure. Does that sound familiar? The moderators have also been widely criticized for only fact-checking Donald Trump and not Kamala Harris. Muir also attempted to fact-check Trump on claims of animal cruelty in the immigrant community, which instantly backfired on him. Verify here, you bring up Springfield, uh, Ohio, and, and ABC News did reach out to the city manager there. Uh, he told us there have been no credible reports of specific claims of pets being harmed, injured, or abused by individuals within the immigrant community. Well, All I've this, seen people on television. Let me just say here, this is the... the people on television say my dog was taken and used for food. Harris peddled the Charlottesville lie that was debunked by Snopes with absolutely no questioning by the moderators. And again, there was no fact checking by the moderators when Harris pushed the also debunked January 6 bloodbath lie. Commentator Clay Travis blasted the moderators saying, now the bloodbath lie too. No fact checks. This is shameful. And commentator Kaylee McEnany also unleashed on the moderators, demanding that they do their job and fact check. Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene also ripped into the biased moderators, saying, my phone is lighting up with nonstop messages about how extremely biased ABC is during this debate. ABC is a disgrace. Bro, this whole debate, like, honestly, like, I want to take y'all to Twitter too, because bro, it's a 
uproar on Twitter, bro. Like, I'm talking about you got you got famous people just. Uh, I think was it Taylor Swift or it was somebody who just endorsed Kamala. You got this one rapper Plies or whatever his name is. He's just all up on Donald Trump butt right now. Like it, it's just an uproar right now on Twitter. But my opinion on the debate, y'all, I'm not gonna lie. When I was watching it, I was like, yo, this is there was no genuine like answer to any of the questions for real. Like in my opinion, like I believe that like Kamala, she wasn't answering the full long question. She was just going based off the emotion of things. Like I, when I say the emotion of things, I feel like she was trying to get the people on the emotional end rather than actual facts, you know, because people, this, this country is saying like, it seems like it's ran off people emotions rather than the facts of things. Like people don't like the facts. They want their emotions to be, to be, uh, what's the word I'm looking for. They want their emotions to be comforted. You know what I'm saying? And that's exactly what she was doing. You know what I'm saying? Everything like, Oh, I was raised in a, um, a, a middle class thing, whatever she said, bro. The, the, the stuff that she was saying, I'm just like, bro, what, what is she talking about right now? You know what I'm saying? They blame Trump for everything. All the mistakes they did, they blame Trump for it. They say, Oh, well, we was this and that. And, and this is happening. And Trump left us. It's like, come on now, bro. Trump was in office for four years, bro. Three and a half years, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And then at the end of the day, before that, you had Obama and freaking uh, Biden. You know what I'm saying? Had Obama and Biden for two, for two terms. Had Trump for one. And then we had you and Biden for another term. Like, come on, bro. Like, who really made all the mistakes here? Like, who really let this country go downhill? Like, who really let this country go down? Was it really Trump? Did Trump really do all that in three and a half some years, bro? Did he really do that? I don't think so. You know what I'm saying? I don't think so. Not I don't think one man could do all the damage that's been done to America in three and a half years, bro. And then you yet she was claiming that, oh, she was gonna do this and how this was gonna happen. And the one thing that Trump said was, if she said she's gonna do it, why haven't she done it? Biden old, we know that you was running things behind the behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? We know you had to say so on a lot of things that was happening. You're the vice president. So you can't tell me that you was, this was going to happen, that's going to happen. Oh, no. I'm sorry. When you get into office, this is going to happen and that's going to happen. And why haven't you done it yet? You see what I'm saying? That's why I'm saying when I say that she was going off the emotion of things. Like, she wanted people to get emotional. You know what I'm saying? She wanted people to vote based off their emotions, especially when they brought up the question about race. Oh, my gosh, fam. When they brought up the question about race, <laughs> yo, she's... I'm telling you, bro. I know, I know how black people was watching this, bro. They like, bro. I watched all on Twitter. I'm gonna take y'all to Twitter. Come on, let's let's look at Twitter real quick, cause Twitter is crazy. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't even being by. I didn't show all the good things that they said about Donald Trump. I wanted to see the things about Kamala that these people were saying, even the people that supported her or support her. You know what I'm saying? So you got this, you got this clown right here, right? Let's listen to what he got to say. I, I it, it just. Just to warn you, his English is terrible. At least I think he was acting, but I don't really know for a fact. So let's see. <laughs> you got your ass spanked last night. <laughs> hustle, hustle, hustle spank your ass last night, son. <laughs> yeah, so I did. Hustle, hustle spank your ass last night, son. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, that motherfucker, remember over on motherfucking, uh, uh, what it was, color purple? <laughs> hustle, hustle, spank your ass last night, sir. Yes, sir. That's them big old veneers. Can't talk proper, man. Keep your regular teeth in. I'm, I'm sorry, keep your real teeth in. Not your regular, dude. keep your real teeth in, brother. Golly. Oh, uh, did. You thought you motherfucking can run last night. <laughs> the motherfucker. They caught the motherfucking butt lad last night. That lady was more motherfucking smarter than you. Where? Trump, she was more motherfucking articulate than motherfucking you. She How? was more prepared than you. She was more aware than you. She more prepared than you. Bro, you see you see what I'm talking about? It's clowns like this that vote for Kamala. Fam, where was she more prepared than anybody? But, but what? And first of all, can we can we please talk about how this was a 3v1? You know what I'm saying? I know the video said it, but I'm saying it myself because that's how I felt too. I'm like, bro, they fact checking everything that Trump says, but they didn't fact check now one thing Kamala said. And all she did was spur out lies after lies after lies. I knew she was going to bring up, oh, Project 2025. And this is not. And Trump clearly said he didn't have anything to do with this. But yet she was still trying to, oh, Project 2025. And Project, like, come on now, bro. All she did was spur was spilled out lies, bro. Everything that her and Biden did in office, she's blaming it right on Trump. She's blaming it right on Trump. Simple as that. And it's and then you say that she's more prepared and she's more this, bro. I'm telling you, bro, she got into the feelings of these people that's voting. 
She's trying to get into the feelings of these people, bro. She's going based off emotions and not facts. That's what she's going on. She want people to feel sorry for her. You know what I'm saying? She wants, ever since Donald Trump was in, t in office that one time, bro, people start to hate his guts. And yet, this country was way better off. That's how you know that people, they don't want this country to be better. They don't care about this country to be better. Black people only care about themselves. You know what I'm saying? They only want uh, the presidents to be for them and only them. Like, come on, man. Let's, uh, man, this is ridiculous, bro. I'm tired of hearing him talk because his, his English is terrible. I think no big old veneer she got in his mouth looking like a freaking donkey. She was more every motherfucking thing than you. And you motherfucking knew that. You knew it from the motherfucking beginning. That's why you told everybody what you motherfucking told. She ain't smart. She ain't black. She ain't this. She ain't that. She ain't what? She ain't black? You mean black? Uh-huh. What am I watching right now? But she ain't black. She ain't this. She ain't that. And she spanked your motherfucking ass last night. She went to the motherfucking bus stop and motherfucking got you. Yes, I did. She went to the motherfucking bus stop and spank your all right i'm done watching him y'all can go watch that on your own time I'm, I'm done so so here's another thing from him right this is this is this is him again <laughs> he been on the he bro he been on a rampage all over twitter i don't even follow the man see look i i don't even follow the man i just liked all these so i could keep up with him but dear america what we all witnessed tonight doesn't get any clearer this woman has more knowledge direction and policy and worthwhile wherewithal donald trump has totally outsmarted and outclassed tonight and he has no plan, no solutions. He's trying to con his way back into office. Just that simple, bro. Did you just say that he has no plan, no solutions? <laughs> he has more plans than freaking Kamala. What is Kamala going to do? She's been in office for three years now, bro. What, what can she have? What can she do now that she has not done already? She's going to tear. She's going to make this country worse than what it already is. Remind you, she is the vice president. I, I'm just saying she's technically legally still the vice president today. So what can she do now? I mean, what can she do later that she can do now? I, I don't know, man. Uh, this is the ABC on uh, post debate poll. So a lot of people done said that Trump won. 92% of people said that Trump won the debate, which is a fact. You know what I'm saying? Even though it was biased, it was a, it was a 3 v one but yet he still tapped that booty. You know what I'm saying? He still tapped that butt. You feel me? And then <laughs> we got way more. So we got, uh, we got some posters from Elon Musk. He said, while I don't think the debate hosts were fair to uh, Donald Trump, Kamala Harris exceeded most people's expectations tonight, which I will agree. This debate was way better than Biden. OK, I will definitely agree with that. Biden debate. Oh, man, he didn't even know he was he didn't even know he was at the debate. You know what I'm saying? At least we can say that Kamala is more. She's more up here than Biden. OK, that she's more here. But I could definitely say that about her. But that said, when it comes to getting things done, not just saying nice sounding words, I strongly believe that Trump will do a far better job. And that's a fact, bro. That is a true fact. You know what I'm saying? This is Kamala right here. Um, making special laws for black people. Now, I haven't watched this clip, but I just seen the thing, so I was like, let me like it, and we're going to watch it together. It's 43 seconds, so let's see what she's saying, bro. And we're talking about specifically something that happens to black people mm -hmm. here in America. So we have to be specifically targeting to help those people because we put those people in a position, and everybody knows the history. Yeah. Everybody understands the history of America. That's right. America, you did this to these people. You should write laws for these people. Don't don't group us in with everybody because everybody it didn't happen to everybody. But let's let's be fair. We we, we plan from behind the eight ball. We way back there, 400 years back there. We don't we're not asking y'all to give us nothing. We actually write the law. Those of us who are willing and able to do the work, we'll do the work. That's right. That's what we need. That's right. And we're talking about specific. And she's sitting here saying that's right. She's not she's not pushing back. She's saying that's right. That's what I'm saying. She's for, bro, she's for black people. Wait, wait, let me correct myself. She wants black people to think that she's for them. But in reality, she's not for us, okay? <laughs> she's not for us. But she's trying to get the black vote by making it seem as if she is for us. She's trying to cater to their feelings. And that's what that's what she want to do. Man, I just pray that y'all wake up, man. Anyways, back to the video. I get it. And, and, and in reality, I don't care... If you for my people or not, I want you to be for the people as a whole, people that was raised and born in this country. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Be for everyone. 
we all should be equal in some in a sense but again we're not because you have and then she said that trump divides people by race since when you the person that's dividing people by race you you the person that's dividing people by race like come on now now all of a sudden you're black and trying to get black votes now all of a sudden you're, you're black but but not too long ago you was indian like come on make up your mind of who you want to be you know what I'm saying? You're trying to you're trying to cater to black folks. And yet we're so dumb that we're falling for it, bruh. We're so dumb that we're falling for her her nonsense. Remind yourself again, she's been president. I mean, she's been in the office for three years now. And nothing that she said that she wanted to do when she gets into office and become the president of the United States. Cause whatever she's trying to say that she wanna do when she becomes the president is nothing that she can do. It, what what can she not do now that she's the vice president? Reminds you, I don't think Biden's here anymore. I don't know where he's at, bro. That he hasn't been here mentally since twenty twenty. I don't know no more. I mean, not twenty twenty. Yeah, twenty twenty. Like he haven't been here since mentally since twenty twenty, bro. I don't know where he's at, bro. I, I truly don't know. Uh, let's see. We got. Let's see how many. More. Oh, bro, this right here took me out, bro. I was like, what the freak are you doing, dude? Listen to this, bro. These these are the Kamala supporters, bro. This is Kamala supporters. I, look, look, I'm going to vote for Kamala Harris. She could run over a child live on TV. I'm going to vote for Kamala Harris. I'm never going to vote for Trump. But That's gnarly. Fact, but the fact is, even though I think she'll make a good president, she's not a good candidate. If you remember from when she ran before, she, she tends to get real irritated with stuff she doesn't like. She's not real fast on her feet. Maybe she's better now, but live events things like this i don't know man i don't think she's going to do so well in the debate I, look, look i'm going to vote for what type of logic oh my gosh fam i seen the beginning of the clip where he said that like she that he had vote for her when she ran ran or, or, or if she was to run over a child i i seen that and i liked it and i said oh man i gotta show my people this i didn't see the rest of that what type of logic is this i didn't see the rest of the clip to hear what what can, can we repeat i just need to hear that one more time because maybe i lost a few brain cells i i need to hear that one more time I, look, look i'm gonna vote for kamala harris she could run over a child live on tv i'm gonna vote for kamala harris i'm never gonna vote for trump but that's gnarly fact, but the fact is even though i think she'll make a good president she's not a good candidate if you remember from when she ran before she she tends to get real irritated with stuff she doesn't like she's not real fast on her feet maybe she's better now but live events things like that i don't know man i don't think she's going to do so well in the debate <laughs> and she didn't do well but to, man bro i could go on and on bro all this stuff on twitter bro here's what president trump left them a secure border one percent 1.4 percent inflation two dollars and 39 cent gallon of gas which is beautiful bro gas is like 369 a gallon bro that junk is ridiculous 2.7 percent mortgage rate I wasn't, I don't think I had an apartment at the time. I don't think I was living, I think I was living with my mom when Trump was in office, but hey, I, I can't, I don't know, I can't vouch for that, but depending on how mortgage rate is now, to, I'm pretty sure it was probably lower, you know what I'm saying? Because, boy, boy, I'm paying, a, I'm paying a bag for where I stay. This is just ridiculous. But, um, yeah, I can go on and on and on about everything that I was seeing, um, Everything I was seeing on uh, Twitter and all, but in reality, bro, we know that debate was rigged. You know what I'm saying? I mean, these these folks, bro, they came they they came to already to already like what what is it? Uh, push back on Trump. They that's that they can't prepare for that, bro. They can't truly prepare for that. And then all the people that's that is claiming that Kamala won, and bro, you guys are delusional. If you really think this woman won, you guys are delusional, bro. Super delusional. And then I see people on Twitter talking about the faces that she was making disproves that she's actually black because she was making certain faces that like a lot of like black parents would make, like my mom would make, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, come on now, bro. That that that, that proves that she's black? What? Like, let's be real here, bro. If we're talking about someone who's wanting to get things done, someone who's going to make this country better, I'm not saying that Trump is the best um, when it comes to personality and things like that. And he has, like, I'm not saying that this man is the greatest of them all. Like, no, but I'm saying that his policies is way better than what Kabbalah is trying to do. Like, 
First of all, she has no policies because if she did, she would have said them. I didn't really hear no policies from her. Not only did that, not only that, the things that she said that she want to do when she gets into office, she could have been done in three years, but yet she didn't do. So therefore, that's all a lie. She's trying to get, she's trying to just get the black people to vote for her. She's bringing immigrants in to vote for her because obviously she's for the immigration. So I mean, come on now, let's just be let's just be logical here. If we're talking about a a president that's gonna that's gonna lock in, that's gonna be for the American people, then. I say that Trump is the best fit for that. Okay, Trump is the best fit for that. But yet, people only vote for Kamala because they don't want Trump. Just how when they only voted for Biden because they didn't want Trump. And then you see what what Biden has done. What has he done? Oh my gosh! I mean, we didn't, we forgot he was even president for for a minute. You know what I'm saying? So that's just to show that people are voting based off their feelings. And that's what Kamala was doing in this debate. She was trying to get to people's feelings. She wasn't really spitting facts. She wasn't really cooking him up and spanking his butt like people saying on Twitter. No, she was trying to get to your feelings. And yet she did. She got to a lot of people's feelings and emotions. You know what I'm saying? Abortion. Women. Oh, my gosh. You know what I'm saying? Women are all for that. You feel me? And then what? what race. Oh, people love it. People love talking about race. The moment they start talking about those two topics, she, bro, she started to get to the people's feelings, bro, while Trump was there spitting facts. Like, look, this is what's going to happen. This is this ain't even going to take, like, all these different things Trump was saying, yet no, he wasn't trying to get to the feelings of people because he's for the American people. He want people to vote for him based off the policies. You know what I'm saying? At least that's what I hope he wants. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what I'm voting off. The policies of these individuals, not the not the oh she's a black woman so I'm a vote for her or oh Trump is a racist so I'm not gonna vote for her. like come on now bro do your research do your fact checks bro you know what I'm saying anyways y'all let me know what y'all think about this debate in the comment section below how did y'all feel about it did y'all feel like it was fair what what did y'all think about the whole debate uh was it a three v one what like come on let me know in the comment section below hit the like button subscribe turn on post notifications being your boy Japan I love each and one of y'all God bless stay blessed peace.